I'm back. Hello and welcome back <laughs> after a very long hiatus to episode 26 of the Cozy Moth Knits podcast. My name is Caitlin and if you are new here, um, I've kind of neglected my uh, knitting and fiber arts uh, side of my channel um, for a few months now, but I am back, like I said, after a long hiatus. Um, this channel started off with me talking about you know what I've what I've been knitting, which eventually grew to um, you know crocheting and you know yarn hauls <laughs> and you know uh, during Christmas vlogmas. Um, yeah, but uh, I kind of strayed away from that because I guess, and I'm looking down at my notes because I have to you know I'm trying to keep things succinct here. <laughs> um, I have been away for a few months because. To put it to you straight, I lost my knitting mojo. Um, there were a lot of things going on in my life um, during uh, the beginning of spring that um, just like just like kind of took me over, just took my attention away from knitting. Um, one of them being uh, me changing jobs. Um, Another one being my husband changing jobs <laughs> and then right after my husband changing jobs he was away for four weeks um, because they just sent him off to Arizona to work there um, it wasn't training or, or anything people think it was training like no he was like actually working in Arizona for four weeks and for those of you who don't know <laughs> You better get used to it if you're gonna stick around I live in Delaware with my husband and my two dogs um, so him being away, you know, on the other side of the country <laughs> kind of, you know, took my focus away from knitting, um, you know, family stuff going on, like, you know, one thing after another and it, life has been moving so quickly and I hadn't really had time to process everything. Um, and I still haven't fully processed all, you know, the good and the bad that have come over the past uh, year. So I just would look at my knitting and just not find joy in it. It became more of a chore. Um, you know, I had all these projects I needed to complete and, uh, but I didn't have the time and the money. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, there was, you know, there were times where I would, you know, go on knitting Instagram, which I've been pretty absent from, and I would scroll through and I'd be happy to see what my friends were working on, whether they were dyeing yarn or test knitting or writing patterns or, you know, like thriving. And then I would, you know, look at myself and then I would feel, you know, guilty and a little bit jealous. <laughs> and um, I just kind of like stayed away from Knitstagram for a while and, um, but I'm hoping to get back into it. Um, I've always been bad at posting on Instagram anyway, but I've always, you know, been lurking. I've been lurking, <laughs> lurking and seeing all my friends, you know, thrive and, you know, doing great out there. So instead of knitting, I kind of found joy in other things, whether, and some of you might <laughs> have realized what some of those things are. Um, most, a lot of it is, I've been reading a lot. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I work in a library, um, so of course it makes sense that my reading intake would uh, increase. Um, I've been reading a whole lot. Um, apparently you guys don't read either because um, my viewership on those videos is very low, but um, that's okay. You came for the knitting content, not the reading content. I get it. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been reading a lot. Um, we've been putting a lot of sweat equity into our home and we're going to continue to do so um, for the next year or so. Um, so a lot of time has been spent doing that. But, you know, come once like June rolled around, I think, um, things really slowed down at work. Um, so I kind of had myself finding having more free time and um, I like picked up knitting again. And um, it started with a pair of socks because I was like, I'm going to start slow. 
and the, you know one pair of socks turned into three and um and then another like garment project that i'm knitting on working on and another project that i started in february that i have yet to finish and i'm kind of you know kicking myself in the butt about that because it's a gift for a friend <laughs> but um and it just isn't completed yet and um so but it'll be completed soon and it, like it doesn't make sense for me to give that gift to them in the summer anyway but you'll see uh so anyway uh, I guess I'll just update you on some things that have happened in the knitting area of things. Um, looking at my notes. Um, so I don't remember if last episode I talked about the Bay Pullover. Um, I had purchased some um, Pearl Soho uh, Aaron weight yarn to knit the Bay Pullover by Jacqueline C. Slack. Um, I had gotten like the first half of the garment done because it's like it's all knit flat the, f the front and the back are knit flat and then you join them and then knit in the round um, for the rest of the garment um, and I realized that like or like I kind of knew and I was like um, denying it but um, my gauge was too tight so I you know, the other day I frogged it Roll, wind it all up again. Um, I might try to knit it again or I might try to make something else. Um, excuse me, but we'll see. I do like the bay pullover. I think it's a beautiful garment, um, but I just might, it might not be for me because I really do not like working flat. <laughs> um, it's so annoying to me, um, but we'll see. Um, I haven't touched my crocheting since February. <laughs> um, it is v v like it's still the same. Like my granny stripe blanket is still about this thick. <laughs> but um, I have been adding all of my fingering scraps to like, I have a little basket here. I'll show you the basket that still holds um, the godforsaken blanket that we do not speak of. Um, not the granny stripe, but um, I've just been putting all my fingering scraps in this uh, basket so that I can eventually add it to, what is this? Oh, so I can eventually add it to the uh, granny stripe blanket and just continue to add on to it. And I also purchased um, two yarn advent calendars because I'm a psychopath. Um, so I will, you know, have plenty more to add to the granny stripe blanket you know me buying yarn in you know when I you know didn't have my when I had zero knitting mojo but you know dang it I'm still gonna buy yarn apparently um so there's that um I also gave up last I think I think last episode I was working on a baby blanket that was um basically a half and half triangles wrap the baby blanket version uh, I gave up on it uh the baby was born <laughs> and I still was not even close to being done. Uh, they didn't know I was making it for them, so I just stopped. Um, <laughs> so whenever, you know, and I I live in a very, I, we attend a very fertile church and uh, we're kind of in a cycle of everyone having baby girls. So, because um, we had a cycle of everyone having baby boys and now we're in the baby girl cycle. So maybe another baby girl will come around and I'll have a uh, I'll have a blanket already head started so we'll see uh, but let's start with my finished objects and there's three of them <laughs> so the first finished object that I have to show you is just a pair of vanilla socks these are the ones that kind of got me back into the knitting mojo and they're a self striping pair sorry that the lighting is not the greatest I'm filming this literally at 7 30 at night <laughs> but uh, here we are uh, the yarn that I knit this up with is Mothra by uh, Vista Dye Works. They're located in Arizona. Um, and I got the, I ordered this for my, for, as like a birthday present for myself last year. And I knit these over my birthday this past year. <laughs> so um, finally got to it. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'm glad that I picked a self striping yarn to work with because self striping yarn is just, you know, for those of you who know who work with self striping yarn um it's it's a great it's a great way to keep you knitting because you're like okay just one more stripe all right just one more stripe 
one more stripe and you just keep going because like knitting the stripes is so addicting so yeah I finished these up fairly quickly um, I knit these at work um, I very rarely knit at work um, in, in the public for patrons to see but because it was summer and it was super slow um, I figured I would just whip it out you know socks are small projects to work on so like it's not like this big sweater or whatever so I got these out and like a lot of patrons and co-workers now know that I knit and now it's you know a conversation piece and um yeah I have you know returning patrons like I'll you know be working and I'll stop by and they'll stop and be like what are you making now and you know making connections you know it's it's good stuff but yeah I'm really pleased with how this turned out um yeah I would definitely order from Vista Dye Works again they they're putting out new colors all the time all the time like highly highly recommend them like they they gain inspiration from everything <laughs> like a, a, anything you can think of they have a color for um so i highly recommend them again this is just a vanilla sock i knit my socks um uh, 64 stitches on uh size one dpns i did like i think it was like 10 rows for the little cuff and then just like a basic heel flap and gusset you know nothing crazy again i'm just trying to keep it simple does anyone else like get like anxiety when you're working on the heel flap and gusset and you just maybe it's just like i just want it to be done and maybe that's why i feel like anxious <laughs> about it but um yeah so these are my you know return to knitting project and um, I haven't worn them yet because it has been absolutely sweltering, just like I'm sure it's been all over the country. Um, so I haven't worn these, but I know they're gonna keep my feet very warm during the winter. Finished object number two, also a pair of socks, uh, but these are a little bit different. Um, I chose to make a pair of DK weight socks um, because I have been ordering uh, knitting Nakabi's um, uh, uh, herbology boxes. Um, I did skip this past one just because I felt guilty for <laughs> buying yarn and not knitting on it even though I love I've, I've heard you've heard me talk about her yarn how much I love her yarn. I love knitting Nakabi's yarn. Kelsey she's an angel like fantastic artist amazing always support her always will um, but so I so her first herbology box um, Unfortunately, <laughs> I um, don't remember the name of the yarn color, but it was came out a beautiful sage green and I decided, you know, because it was only one skein of DK, because I had so much fingering, you get to choose between DK or fingering weight yarn. Um, I chose a DK weight and I decided to make a pair of DK socks. And here they are beautiful sage green socks they look very gray on uh, camera right now but that's because of the lighting but beautiful sage green these are the laid edges socks i believe it was a free pattern um i'll have all, all the patterns and stuff linked down below um but yeah laid edges very very simple uh, they're like cables that you can um, maneuver without a cable needle which is great um but yeah I like they knit up super quick because they were DK socks and I just love the little you know the little detail right here and like it just made it interesting instead of just knitting in the round constantly um, I like having you know this sweet little detail and um, yeah I don't really have much else to say about it except you know I love the yarn I love the pattern you guys should buy her yarn you guys should buy Kelsey's yarn and you should knit up these socks um like i said they knit up very quickly and they're very warm and i know that they are also going to keep my feet very warm during the winter i feel so out of practice doing this um i feel like i'm like running out of things to say because i am <laughs> finished object number three is again a pair of socks um and uh as i've you know said numerous times already um the fact that i have this huge stash of yarn and um i feel like i've barely put a dent into it so i'm really trying to not buy yarn <laughs> anymore at least for a while um because i want to just work through everything that i have um 
because again like I have so much of it like I I have plenty of projects to work on. Um, so um, this next project was a bit of a stash buster um, and they're just a pair of shorty socks because I have I've made one pair of shorty socks um, for myself two years ago and I wear them all the time like they're just really like dense wool fabric and like I said wear them all the time I wear them in my boots like sometimes I wear them in my sneakers like they're great um and I've just wanted another pair and I two and I had two very small skeins uh the pink is a old um stress knits colorway I can't remember the name of it I think it was Eloise and then the gray is just a Schockenmeyer gray um that again I had like just a little bit of I had just enough to knit both these socks and I feel nice about it because it's like okay now like two little skeins are gone from the <laughs> gone from the monstrosity that is my uh uh my knitting shelf <laughs> so very happy about that and I'm so excited to wear these during the the winter I'm definitely going to make more uh to stash bust I have plenty of yarn that can be um <laughs> that could be reused in other ways so I think that's going to be my goal over the winter is like to knit a pair of socks every week and like either make them for myself or like give them away as gifts I know I can definitely do that um, I'm gonna be relying on hand gift handmade gifts this year for for Christmas and the holidays so everyone who's you know in my immediate family and close friends get ready for some <laughs> socks but yeah again just a vanilla sock um, I just did three rows of ribbing for the cuff a heel regular heel flap and gusset and then just standard sock <laughs> like I don't know what else to say about it um but yeah they look kind of weird on the sock blockers yeah so those are my three f finished objects so I'll talk about my works in progress the first one being my half and half triangles wraps so I am getting down to the wire with it let me tell you um so I made like the extra large version or I am making the extra large. So it is indeed extra large. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a gift for my friend and I have about this much left to do. So again, down to the wire, but it's like, oh, it's so, it's so like it's like it's so close and you're like oh I am almost done and then you like spend like an hour working on it and you've only like made just a little bit of progress because of the constant knitting back and forth it's a lot it's draining me like but I'm almost done I want to have it at least done by the fall because it's going to be a shawl for my friend and again not like she can wear the shawl right now it's sweltering so I like to at least have it done by September so I, I just really need to plug away at it. Yeah, I, like instead of picking up another project, I just, and it's also like too big for me to like bring anywhere. So I can only knit on it at home. Like it's huge. Like for, I like got away for a while of keeping it in like a small bag like this, you know? But now <laughs> it's getting to a point where it's outgrowing my basket. Like. <laughs> I mean, I did have a tote bag that I brought it to work one day because I work on Saturdays and like nothing happens on Saturdays. So I just brought my knitting with me. Um, but yeah, I like, I put a decent chunk in it, I think, but yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a hassle to bring to work. Um, I do like the pattern. I think the pattern is really great. Super easy. It's the, like, so easy. once you get the hang of it it's the easiest thing you'll ever work on um i do i love the yarn i am using um pearl soho pearl soho's linen quill and um the pink is rose um something rose i don't remember what it is um and then the um the beige is pale mushroom um and I'm really happy with the color combination. It's very warm and cozy, you know, the vibes. My vibes, warm and cozy. Uh, <laughs> so I, I really hope my friend likes it. 
I really do. Um, but yeah, I mean, like if you go back in my past few knitting project vlogs, um, I've talked about this one, so I don't really have much more to say about it. Um, other than it is a bear to work with and I am so close to finishing it and I just wanted to be done. <laughs> um, but that's that. I've had this tea sitting here and I haven't taken a sip yet. Yum. All right. So the last finished object that I have to show you is so if you've been following me for a while, you know that I purchased uh, three skeins. You know that I purchased three skeins of virtual dyes, Undine yarn in lamb's ear. Like this is when they first released their um, cotton linen blend from Ritual Dyes and uh, I got the lamb's ear color because you know you know your girl loves the sage green I gotta say I love a sage green and um and I have tried to make three projects <laughs> in this dang yarn and I barely get into it and it sits on my you know in my you know works in progresses forever and then I frog it and then I try to start another project but Actually, it's been two, but maybe third time's the charm with this one. I am making the ripple crop top or the ripple tea, I think. Ripple crop tea, something by uh, Jessie May. We love our girl, Jessie May. Um, this is what I got so far. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost, it's about four inches <laughs> and I need to knit about 10 inches because I'm not really... I've learned that, um, you know, crop for a normal person is very cropped on me because of my chest size. Um, so like, you know, the pattern will say like, oh, okay, knit eight inches. And then it'll be like, you know, a nice little, you know, you know, barely there crop, you know, it's a tasteful crop, but then I put it on and it's like a bralette. It's like up to here. And I'm like, oh crap. So like, that's what happened with this one one of my first garments that I ever made. I love it. I love the blue. It's so sweet. And theoretically, you know, it should, you know, hit me at like a decent crop level, but because of the boobies, um, it rides up so high. I can't wear it. So it just sits here. So there it sits looking very pretty, not matching my, uh, very, um, <laughs> neutral color palette, but that's okay. Um, I was, working with what I had right there. Uh, but anyway, so yep, the ripple crop, I don't have much to show right now because it's just, and it's on a small circumference needle, so it's very squished. Um, I did size down because um, the gar like the fabric was just way too thin and it's already gonna be like kind of see-through anyway. Um, like I didn't want to be too see-through, you know? I didn't want to be too much of a mesh. So yeah, I know this is going to take me a while. I probably won't have it done by the end of the summer, but I've just been itching to make a garment and I don't have, I only have one sweater quantities worth of yarn and it is definitely for a sweater. And I don't want to be knitting like a full sweater right now when we're in the middle of a heat wave or we have a heat wave every week, basically. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so those are my works in progress. And I want to take a moment to talk about um, some future projects I am planning on working on. Uh, the first one being um, I had a request from a family member uh, to knit a young member of the family a uh, Gryffindor scarf um, because he plans on dressing up um, as Ron Weasley for <laughs> Halloween. So I have, um, and he's about seven or eight. And um, so I have my yarn that I've purchased for it. I just have to cast it on. It's gonna be super simple, super quick project. And I'm excited to do it for them. Um, one of the things that, oof, that got me back into knitting a few years ago was knitting 
um, Harry Potter scarves for my family for Christmas. Uh, so being able to make another one, um, I'm excited to do it again, though I'm not particularly like the biggest fan of Harry Potter, but you know, other people in my life are, and if I can bring them a little joy with a hand knit scarf, it'll make me happy. <laughs> so I'll be working on that very soon, casting that on probably Monday. Um, I'm filming this on a Thursday um, because we'll be going away for the weekend. <sighs> but yeah, so there's that. And um, I have a very large quantity of yarn that I'm feeling incredibly guilty <laughs> for having. And so, um, and most of it is fingering yarn. So, and I, and even though I love making socks, I don't know, they can, I can get tired of making socks. Excuse me. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas for, you know, projects that require, you know, a, a one skein of fingering weight yarn um, or two skeins that mismatch colors, uh, please let me know. I'm very interested. <laughs> um, I need ideas and sometimes going on Ravelry is very overwhelming and um, I get stressed out by being on Ravelry. So um, yeah, let me know and I would be happy to take your suggestions. Well, that's all I have to show you today. I'm um, sorry that we are running out of uh, sunlight, but you know, life gets away from ya. Uh, but I wanted to take this moment to uh, thank, you know, those of you guys who stuck around and stayed subscribed to me after, you know, the almost six months of being away. Um, I appreciate you coming back and, you know, watching this little video. Um, it's not nearly as long as my previous um, knitting podcasts, um, but maybe you're fine with that. <laughs> I have seen a trend where knitting podcasts aren't as long as they used to be. Um, so <laughs> I guess because, you know, getting out of the pandemic, um, people, you know, are working more. They don't have as much time to knit and um, I'm definitely feeling that. Um, but I want to, you know, again, thank, you know, my followers and my friends, especially my friends in the knitting community who, you know, would still message me from time to time and ask how I'm doing and, you know, check up on me. And I'm sorry that I, you know, in hindsight, I didn't return the favor nearly as much to most of you. Um, yeah, I was, it was just like, a, it's been a weird few months when it comes to my knitting. Um, but I am thankful for each and every one of you. And I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things again. And, um, you know, happy to, you know, rekindle the friendships and the connections that we all had. Um, but yeah. I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, if you're new here and you like what you see, uh, feel free to subscribe, um, as well as follow me on Instagram um, at the Cozy Moth Knits. Um, also, feel free to leave a comment down the down below. Let me know what you think of the video. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments on uh, the lighting situation, but I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but again, I'm just gonna leave it here. So. Stay safe everyone, keep knitting, and I will see you all later.